All right, here we go. This is seven years of Pokemon Go. So I started playing on day two back in 2016. Uh, you can thank Google Play Store for not... I signed up for notifications and it never sent me a notification that it came out. So I'm technically a day, play, day two player, which not a big deal. But um, So this is just kind of my stats that I've gotten in the seven years of playing Pokemon Go. Level 42 and a half. Almost exactly half. Uh, 38 million total XP. Almost... 35,500 Pokestas visited, 44,800 Pokemon caught, and just over 4,000 kilometers walked. Um, as you can see, we got some of that. Um, some of the medals that I got in here, the Scientist, Berry Master, Gym Leader, which I'm very proud of. That's a lot of hours in gyms. Uh, research tasks, best friends with 29 players, purified 1,069 shadow Pokemon, nice. Uh, 154 seven days streaks, so that's over, that's almost three years worth of seven day streaks. The jogger medal, not quite there yet. These are just ones I have golded. Breeder getting close on that one. Um, Ace Trainer, that was very big back in 2016 when you had to train up gyms. Couldn't just put in Pokemon right away. Uh, some of my other medals got a lot of trades. Pretty good pilot medal on there. Um, not a huge battler, but there's some of my battle medals. Uh, the rest of these really aren't a huge deal, so we're going to move on to the next section. As you can see down here, only got a couple of them left that I haven't quite platinumed, metaled those ones. Usually the toughest um, types to find during the year. Um, so let's go check out my Pokemon. So these are my top Pokemon right now. Um, I do have my one and only Shundo Lucky Shiny 100% IV maxed out Gyarados that I got from a trade actually just a couple of days ago at the time of this recording. Yeah, the 28th, so like a week and a half maybe. Um, got a couple other really good Shiny. This one's like a 96% that I caught at a raid in a, at a Bucks game. This one I got from a trade from my cousin, 98% almost. So yeah, a couple of good ones on there. I'll we'll scroll through some of my higher um, CP Pokemon. And then we're going to do some other looks through here. So we'll go down to about my 25, 2400 range. Because these ones are all just barely above matter ultra league so these ones are all my ultra league mons got some good ones in there got hundo weavile got that lucario which is best buddy that's a beast a couple of nice nice different pokemon in there a lot of 96 98 percents and then a lot of just random especially a lot of ev evolutions because back in 2016 EV evolutions were some of the best to go. Look at that. I got a lucky Galarian Articuno that I traded with my wife. Um, actually gave her a 98% shiny Dratini for that one. So uh, if you want to look, any of the videos are going to be on my channel. Um, so let's go to the next thing here. Shinies. 223 shiny Pokemon. Uh, we'll go to recent. So this are my oldest shinies on here. I got my first shiny in 2020 out of an egg from a friend, actually. Um, so a lot of, you know, old shinies on there. I was just like one-off shinies, like the green old shiny hat Charmander. And then we get into some Community Day ones. I didn't know that Community Day was a thing. You know, until like probably 2022. And as you can see, I got a lot of Community Day Shinies since then. Um, I really have been trying to play Community Days more to try to get those Shinies. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like these are all 
right here is the 2023 is the 2023 start of the shiny so everything from there that we're scrolling through now are all 2023 shinies so definitely caught over a hundred of those you can tell Neubach community day there was like the Hoenn tour stuff right there and then just some random shinies slowpoke community day got back-to-back -back shiny grimers and a couple shiny melt meltan and melt metal those are pretty rare uh, there's Togetic Community Day, and then we got some other shines. We got Mammal Swan or Swin Up Community Day, the Cleavor Raid Day. I got two shinies off of that. Um, Fennekin shinies, and then we got two off of the gold shinies. Bunch of Axu Community Day because that was a great Community Day. And then some other shinies there to end it out. Here are all my perfect IV Pokemon. So these are 31 I have. Um, first one I got back in 2020. Here, I'll just show you. Boom, look at that. All perfect. So a couple of nice ones there. Obama Snow, Charizard. Got a couple of um, Magikarps. Yeah, just some nice, this one's, I like a lot. Kecleon, which is very hard to find. 100%, 11, 11, 11 CP, that's awesome. Um, this one was my first ever Tundra that I got, and it just happened to be a hundo as well. Yeah, a couple of nice hundos there. Get a couple from trades. Here are my legendary Pokemon, as you can tell back in, I think these are all 2018, yeah, you used to get them out of raid boxes, so you'd get a couple of them, and then they'd switch them every, like, month or so. Um, there's a couple of Regis, Registeel, Regirot, or Regice, Moltres, Lugia, got the original Kyogre and Groudon, some Shadow Mewtwo's. Um, these ones are pretty much all from like this year now. A um, bunch of Latios, some Groudon, Kyogre, a couple Rayquaza, a bunch of Ho-Ohs. Got that shiny Ho-Oh, that's sweet. A couple of Lugia, some of the Tapu family, a bunch of Ass Elves. Um, and then a bunch of heat trans which just happened and then we got most recent ones at those and Articuno which I caught today actually so all right so 2016 is when the game came out I have 279 Pokemon yet from 2016 my oldest I've kept was from the 12th of January or January July um, so yeah a couple of nice ones there so was my first Snorlax I actually caught it while I was at um, a hotel at a friend's wedding so a couple of my buddies got it as well we were all super pumped about that um, so that just kind of one of my big memories from that was catching that first Snorlax because that is my favorite Pokemon and back in that those days 2016 it was tough to you know find where Pokemon were and see what you know what they all were and where to go and there was no like oh yeah go to you know this pokestop and there's this pokemon it was just okay start walking and you might find one this is another one so i call it hole in one because i literally hatched this egg as i was deciding what club to hit on a par three and i was like yeah maybe i'll hit a pitching wedge and then i ended up hitting a hole in one about two minutes after i hatched that guy so that one will forever stay a charmander and it's forever one of my favorite pokemon so gonna run through all of these real quick here uh, yeah lots of Pokemon from back in the day as you can tell most of them are gen 1 there's a couple of ones that have evolved into you know later generation Pokemon but for the most part these are all just gen 1 because that was all that was out back then and this is not a whole lot to do we're getting close to the end here merry christmas a couple of traded ones there 2017 only have 111 from that year um as you can tell generation two came out 
Um, sometime right about there is where you start seeing some new generations. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun catching new Pokemon. It kind of reinvigorated me a little bit into the game. And then I went down to Mexico, so there's a couple of Pokemon I caught down there. And yeah, there's all of those ones. So 2018, I started to not play as much. Um, just life got busy. I actually got married in 2018, so that took up a lot of time getting ready for that. And as you can see, it didn't really keep a whole lot of Pokemon from there. 2019, only have 30 left from that year. Um, really, it's just kind of a lot of legendaries or like we went to Alaska. So I have a bunch of Alaska catches that I got there. And yeah, just a couple of costume stuff like that. 2020, uh, COVID. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I also bought uh, my first house. So got 49 in here. A lot of costume Pikachus there. You know, some new generation stuff. There's my first perfect. And yeah, a couple more costumes, a couple shinies in there. Got the Mew. So yeah, that was 2020. 2021, didn't really play a ton. Um, obviously, I played some because I got 64 Pokemon yet from there. But a lot of them are just kind of shiny or just random, decent ones that I found or caught. Um, went to Colorado, so there's a couple of Colorado ones. And yeah, just keep uh, scrolling here. A couple of trades down there. Awesome. 2022, uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, but there's a bunch of Pokemon that I've kept um, just because it's kind of the more recent stuff. And I've just been getting a lot of good luck with high CP stuff and just cool shinies and what have you. So got a bunch of those. Um, yeah, there are some from the anniversary last year. Yeah, cool. 2022. In 2023, I have over 1,200 Pokemon kept. Um, that's partially because, A, I've been really grinding hard, been getting a lot of shinies, so keeping a lot of shinies. Um, also, just, you know, have a bunch that I need to trade and just haven't gotten around to trading yet. Um, I'll probably do that actually after I record this video. So, yeah, those are the majority of my Pokemon there. And then here are all the field or special researches that I have completed throughout the years. Lots of different things on there. I try to complete these as soon as I can. You now some people leave them and collect them on certain days. And then I just, if I get it, I just do it. Like just lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff here. Just scrolling and there we go. So yeah, that's what my account looks like after seven years of playing Pokemon Go. Um, I didn't play, you know, every day or anything like that. I definitely played every day this year, but um, just kind of some of my favorite things looking back on the past seven years. You know, those first couple days, weeks of Pokemon Go coming out, it was crazy. There were people walking everywhere. There were just people everywhere trying to find that pikachu i remember one night a group of my buddies and i were walking around downtown and we saw a grimer pop up and we're like oh man we gotta go find that grimer so one guy went one way i went this way the other guy went that way and then eventually one of us found it we just yell it's over here and like 17 other people start running towards it as well all that just for a grimer that nowadays people would look at and be like why is this spawning even um, so that was kind of one of my favorite things from back then um, we actually had this little trail in our town that went from downtown to the mill pond and we called it the treasure trail because we always seem to find some of the best pokemon in there for whatever reason um, and then one of my favorite pokemon i don't know which one it is but this is one of my favorite Pokemon that I have caught. I actually hatched it out of an egg um, during the Halloween event of 2016 where you got double candy. So I got like 64 Snorlax candy, which was amazing at that time because it was only my fourth Snorlax I had ever caught. 
Um, so yeah, that was one of my favorites there. Well, yeah, so that is what my account looks like after seven years of playing Pokemon Go. Um, I'm very excited for where this game is at after these seven years. It's come a long way from just, you know, trying to find just catching Pokemon. That's all that there was and gym battles to now where there's raids and PvP and trading and just so much stuff to do all the time team go rocket all that stuff so looking forward to you know where it's going in the future now we even have showcases now which just came out a couple days ago routes i think are coming soon so lots to look forward to in pokemon go thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day